Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. We're looking at question 6 from tutorial sheet 4. So the question is saying, given that x minus 1 and x plus 1 are factors of px cubed plus qx squared minus 3x plus 7, find the values of a, I mean find the values of p and q. So this question is simple and straightforward. Yeah, like I said, I think in question 4, it should be question 4, whenever you are finding a factor or when you've been given to say, a certain number is a factor of a given function or a certain function is a factor of a given function of any other given function when you equate this to zero for instance you say uh, x plus one okay let me do this let me start with x minus one x minus one is equal to zero so when you say x is equal to one when you find um if let's take for instance this uh, function is given by f of x uh, is equal to we have p x uh, cubed would have used p of x but i'm avoiding that because there's p in the expression so plus q x squared minus 3 x and then we have plus 7. so what you do is that you just find f of this same number f of 1 so f of 1 should give us 0 since we've been told to say uh, this is a factor if it's a factor meaning the remainder is going to be 0 so meaning after replacing this one to this function we are supposed to get a 0 so let me put 1 there so when I put 1 here at x I'm going to have p and then I'll put 1 and then to the power 3 plus and then q i'll put one there to the power two minus three i'll put one there and then we have plus seven so we're going to have something like this so p times one we just get p and then q times one there we just get uh, q and then minus three and then we have plus seven is equal to zero so what you do is you are going to have p plus q uh, b equal to this is equal to 4 so it's going to be negative 4 this side or rather let me just write it the way it's supposed to be because I may end up confusing some people here so this is going to be plus 4 is equal to 0 so we take um, 4 to the other side of the equal sign we get negative 4 so this is our first equation we write it as our first equation so p plus q is equal to negative 4 so our first equation is p uh, plus q is equal to negative 4 so let us find our second equation to so so that we come and solve them simultaneously to find uh, the value of p and q so the, in the second equation we've been told to say x uh, plus 1 is a factor so x plus 1 is a factor x plus 1 is a factor so meaning the value of x in this case will now just be equal to negative 1 so we find f of negative 1 so this is now just going to be equal to negative p when you put negative 1 where there, where there is x cubed here we we'll get negative 1 times p you get negative p then you put negative 1 where there is x squared there you get positive q there and then we have a uh, positive 3 and then we have plus 7 then this ooh, this is supposed to give us 0 since it's a factor and then from there we're going to have something like this negative p plus q then plus 10 is equal to 0 so I mean when you take this to the other side of the equal sign we're going to have p minus q uh, being equal to positive 10 okay so this is our equation 2 so we have p plus q is equal to negative 4 and p uh, minus uh, q is equal to 10 so we simply make p the subject to solve this simultaneously we say p is equal to 10 uh, plus q so we put p in this expression so we have 10 
plus q plus q is equal to negative 4. So we take 10 to the other side of the echo sign. We're going to have 2q this side being equal to negative 4. So this is negative 4. And then we have minus 10. So we have 2q being equal to negative 14. So when we divide by 2, divide by 2, we have our q being equal to negative 7. So from there, from here, we know to say our q is equal to negative uh, 7. So now let us find the value of p. The value of p, we just replace q in this expression. So we have 10 and then q is negative 7. So p is just simply uh, positive 3. Hence the value of p is equal to So the value of p is equal to uh, 3 and then q is just nothing but negative uh, 7, sorry, negative 7. Okay, so basically this is how you solve question 6. And then let's quickly move on to the next question, which is question 7. So see you in the next tutorial sheet, uh, sorry, in, in the next tutorial video, which is a uh, uh, question seven. We are going to be solving question seven. If you have your, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. Shalom, shalom.